You're good to go. Okay. Hey guys, um, today we're going to work on our sculptures. So you have your packet from yesterday. Um, you've already chosen an artist. You've printed out a color picture. If you don't have a color picture printed today, um, use a device and look it up for now. You'll have to get a color copy of it as soon as you can. You can go up to the library sometime today and print those, um, but I prefer that you don't leave class to do that. Maybe um, one or two people at a time on a pass, but no more than that. Step two was to answer a couple of questions. What are some different things that are repeated in your painting that you chose? What kind of rhythms do you see? What are some of the main colors? Um, after you answered those, the next step is to take your sculpture and draw it in step four. So you're gonna kind of look at your sculpture and draw the different forms. A basic outline is fine. I've got my pyramid. Um, and after you get the basic shapes all drawn out, you're going to color these and figure out how um, they're going to be painted to look like the famous painting that you chose. So make the plan first, draw it from a few different angles. Obviously, mine is not very nice. You'll spend a couple extra minutes making it look good. Um, use colored pencils to color them in. Where am I going to put the elements of my painting um, onto the sculpture? I want you to draw it from more than one angle because you need to think about the whole entire sculpture. How is the whole thing going to be painted? I also want you to paint the bottom because a lot of you have sculptures that are maybe meant to go one way, but look pretty sweet when you turn them around and flip them in another direction. So give the opportunity, the possibility, to put these sculptures in more than one direction and paint the whole entire thing, paint the bottom. Um, remember that you have to color match, so you want to make sure that whatever you've printed out, um, you have the same colors on your sculpture. I recommend starting with the base color. So if the background color in your picture is mostly a light blue, maybe you make the whole sculpture light blue and let that dry before you actually um, start putting on all the details. That's basically what we're doing today. Remember that your texture drawings are due tomorrow. Um, we'll just do the written work for that in class tomorrow before we turn them in. Um, I think that is it for today. Make sure you clean up well after yourselves. We'll have a couple of people clean up paint at the end of class. Um, make sure everything gets put back below in the cabinets. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good, good morning, good afternoon. Bye-bye.